Thomas. Sorry it took so long to get back into the swing of things. The uh, camera lady was eating. Oh. A chip. Oh, call her out. She's not going to be able to stop it. Anyway, putting the shirt on for this one. Not because I love it, because it's such nice material and it tastes delicious. It's for a different reason. Because when I'm sitting here and I'm mobbing out, i.e., I'm running that ball in between my thoracic spine, the spine in your upper back, and my shoulder blade or scapula, right? I don't want the ball to slip. This is what we're going to do. Take your lacrosse ball, and what you're going to do is bring Danny over. Yep, super frank. Yep, super frank, and he's going to show on me. Here we go. Lay down. You don't need a super friend, number one, but it's a little easier to show you where this ball is going. Go ahead. Oh, we're going to go left. And he's just going to put it right there, and I'm just going to lay down. Now, a couple things about what's going on. Notice I'm not way arched up, and I'm not kind of trying to roll away from it. Lay flat on the ball. Yep. Keep your palm facing your head. Why is that, Danny? Why do we face the palm? Externally rotated. Bam. Right? Wind that shoulder joint up in a good position. All I'm going to do is try to bring my head up over my arm. My head up over my arm. <laughs> Anyone mark right there? My arm up over my head. All right? Because it's going to go up, it's going to stop. I'm bound up right here. I'm tight. Sorry, I haven't done this yet. This is where a kind of super friend can come in. So if I want to keep going, because I know this isn't going to hurt me, I've done this a bunch, all right? You can have a super friend apply a little bit of extra pressure. Notice how this is not excruciatingly painful. We can maintain a conversation, right? If you're breathing super hard and you're freaking out, calm down. <laughs> it's not that bad. And you can just go ahead and take it at your own pace, right? Intensity is relative, and it's all about the intensity of the stretch. Slow, lots of pressure over a long time, you're going to get a lot better of a result than if you're sitting here and go ahead and show them what you just, You're sitting here and doing this, right? That'll help. I mean, that'll bust up some stuff a little better. Move that thing down just a little bit. Have a friend push it up overhead till it stops or till he finds a position where I'm like, and I start tightening up, and then he just moves it back. Yep. Moving it up, and I'm still good. Cool. This helps a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and just go in form freestyling. Circles. Really trying to pin down on an area you know is tight. Find that ropey knotted up tissue. Move it up here in the upper trap a little bit. Moving big circles. You'll see what I mean. Experiment with different hand positions. Externally rotated winds that shoulder joint up, makes it tighter to put overhead. That's the good position to go overhead internally rotate and pull that thing back that's if you're going behind you but you can definitely experiment and sit here and inform freestyle find where your business is find out where you're tight closer to the lower down here in that lower lat there's something in there yep. oh my, <laughs> right. oh my lord Woo, find it go hard in the paint this stuff helps let's see if it helps me any the before and afters Pro probably, just a little bit. We're right. way closer to your head. Arms uh, way closer, way arms back. further back. <laughs> I can get the other one up there, kind of, maybe. Yeah. But I have to force it. I might not even be actually be able to get it up as high as I can. It's pulled back. If there's that much of a dis difference in, what, like, there, yeah, one, I got to do the other side. I'm all messed up. And two, <laughs> yeah, that's quick fix, yo. Yeah. Get on it later.